So, Congressman, you've been through all of this before. You saw it back then. You saw what happened now. And what's your take on it? Are we doing too much? Are we overhyping this? Meaning all of us, the media and the government. Yes, they are. It's overblown, grossly so. And I just wish people would back off a little bit, stop and think for a minute, and not panic people. There's too much hysteria in the country, and so far there hasn't been that much great da- that great a danger. So. Uh, the sooner we get calmer, the better I'll feel. So take us through it. Uh, it was back then, 1976, I believe. You were a freshman congressman. Take us through what happened. The same sort of thing. Swine flu. People were concerned about it. Uh, talk to me about it. Well, 1976, I was sworn in in a special election, and I obviously was very new to the situation. Uh, it was at that time that... Um, Ford was running against uh, Reagan, and it was a tight race, and it was politicized, and the flu came in, and it was a big deal. We had a vote to uh, indicate that we should inoculate everybody in the country. Medically, it made no sense to me, and politically, it sounded like a, a bad deal. There were two of us that voted against it. Another doctor, Dr. Larry McDonald, and I uh, said it was bad medicine, it was bad politics. And it turned out that uh, that was pretty perceptive because uh, we only had uh, one person die from the flu, and that might have been from other reasons. Twenty-five people died from the inoculations, and mm-hmm. then the whole program had to be suspended because a lot of people got deathly ill from the inoculations. So that sort of put me on my toes when this came up. I thought, well, how much should we do? Why should we be deferring to the World Health Organization, the United Nations, to tell us how to practice medicine? So I immediately thought, well, you know, what, what are we doing here? Why are we scaring people? And if you look at what's happened this past week, it's been it's been tragic when you think about all oh, the schools being closed and people staying home and and sports and events some people, closed some, some people are saying it's cya on on the part of our government because they don't want a, a katrina like response to this just in case it does get worse do you agree with that oh yeah i see it's politics at its worst and uh, i think about it in medicine think of all the things we as physicians do in medicine because we're always terrified medicine you practice by uh, terror because you're always worrying about monday morning the attorney might get you what didn't you do yeah the politician acts as well same way the politician acts oh if we didn't do it and there is actually 25 people who died from the flu you know last year 32,000 32, people died people, from the yeah. flu and uh, probably 650 people died from tuberculosis. So, Congressman, there's all what, these problems what, what, that people just totally ignore, and this gets so hyped, it's, it's sort of discouraging. Well, then what should we be doing? And what, if you were in charge, what would you do? I would probably do a lot less and just think about it and see if there's any need to do anything at all. This idea that government has to come to the rescue, I think it's more or less a reflection that we have too many people in government that like the idea that they have to justify their existence. So whether it's in foreign policy, scare the people to death. Great fear, and then you can do what you want. If it's an economic crisis, scare the people to death, and then you can socialize the economy. In medicine, scare the people to death, and then you'll say, oh, only the government can take care of us. So I think a lot of that is happening, and we're on the move to socialize medicine. So we're scaring the people and saying the only people that can save us uh, will be the government. What's your response? What, what have people said to you since you made this video and you came out and said, hey, you know what, tamp this down a little bit. Come on, let's stand back and, and don't be so crazy about this. What have people said to you? Do you know what? I have to tell you the honest truth. I have not had one person say to me that, you know, that I have undermined uh, anything about dealing with this problem. Everybody comes up, you know, that's exactly what I thought. It's about time somebody said it. It is a, just an attempt for governments to uh, scare the people. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that might disagree. Right. And I don't downplay the seriousness. I, as a physician, I don't say, well, there's no danger at all whatsoever. But you yeah. got to put it in perspective. Put it in perspective of HIV and AIDS and tuberculosis and all these things. It really is a total non-event.